at Sheldon High in Sacramento, 14-year-old Ben Underwood is a freshman like all the rest. Well, not exactly. Hi, Ben. In his first week, many here haven't guessed that Ben has a secret. Hi. Hey. Good. Hi. And you probably hey. couldn't figure it out watching him in combat at karate class, or hitting his mark in a pillow fight. <laughs> Or zipping down the street on his rollerblades. <laughs> Did you get you when you lost your eyes? I was two years old, two weeks before my third birthday. Ben had cancer in both eyes, but he discovered a way to beat his blindness. I started clicking. I was like, like first, like you know, I was like six years old. He realized the clicking sound he made with his tongue bounced off things around him, giving him an idea what was there. Was it like seeing again? Pretty much, yeah. Ben says he can distinguish where the cars are as he cruises his neighborhood streets. Even though he can't see the basket he's aiming for, by listening for the distinctive echoes each makes, he can find the pole and backboard on a basketball goal and sink a basket. It comes easy to forget that Ben is blind. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! That was luck. How else to justify my pleasure when I put a couple of goals past him? Ah, you thought you were so good. I am good. He is indeed. Ben beat me five to two. <laughs> Taking a walk with Ben, I was amazed at what he can see with his ears. Well, there's a fire hydrant on the side and a car on this side. Wait, is that, no, that's a trash can or, but hold on, let me see. That's a trash can. <laughs> yeah, that's a trash can. Or a recycling bin, one of those. Yeah. Playing video games with his brother Isaiah in the assault of noise, Ben can figure out everything that's happening just by listening. How can you even separate the sound? Because they got different voices. Nobody is going to tell him that there is an impossibility for him because there are none. It doesn't give you any breaks because you're blind, does she? Nah. <laughs> Why should he get a break? I can't get a break. His mother, Aquanetta Gordon, insists he should have every opportunity, but no pity. But he's blind. No, he's not. <laughs> I mean, you know, to society, he's blind, but that doesn't make him handicapped. He just can't see. Ben has much the same talent as the dolphins he visited at SeaWorld, the ability to use echolocation, returning sound waves, to sense his surroundings. His clicks even told him to step around a fallen trash bin. I don't know how you do that. But the secret to Ben's success goes beyond his clicks. Your mother, Quinetta, has always told Ben he can do anything. Once he said to me, he says, Mom, man, I wish I could see. And then I said, well, Ben, but look what you can do. I said, if we had a blackout right now, everybody have to follow you. Before I introduce you to Ben, we need you to please hold your applause so he can use his clicking to walk out. Please come on out, Ben, without any applause. And his mother, Aqua, with him. Hey, Ben, it's Oprah. Welcome to the show. Oh, Hi. Welcome to the show. Hi, nice to see you. Nice, nice to see you, too. Nice to see you. There you go, right there. Have a seat. Hello, Aqua. Hi. Nice to see you, too. Welcome, Ben Underwood. You can applaud now.